All right, guys, how's it going out there? Rooster here in Tennessee. Quick video, uh, really nice Pride DX300 that is uh, pending sold. Guy's supposed to come get it today. If he doesn't, it will be available for sale, but he is actually supposed to be on the way to get it right now. And uh, I just want to stop what I was doing and get a video done for him. So uh, this one has the Nomad upgrade boards done to it. It has all of Nomad's uh, recommended upgrades. He's basically the, the Pride guru. Inside of it looks immaculate, brand new. The uh, blower was very quiet, uh, so it may have had a new blower put in it, but that is the original type of blower that goes in these. There's the tube. Um, Preamp works on it. You can hear it pick up more static. Sideband delay. Obviously working there. It's hard to hear it because these things have a really quiet relay on them. But uh, see if we can get it to kick in. Hello. 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 So, yeah, sideband delay seems to be working just fine. Yeah, you can definitely hear it on AM, uh, the difference between the two. Standby here in the middle, low. Let's see. High, standby, low. All three positions work on it. So, uh, indicator light works for the preamp. Just a really nice Pride DX300, and uh, I just took this one in on trade from a buddy of mine, and uh, I don't need it, or I'd keep it. Uh, generally, where I would run a Pride 300, I run a Thunderbolt 305, so a lot of people probably think that's crazy. Thunderbolt's a sweet tube amp. Pride's obviously a uh, steel tube, ceramic tube amp, but I just prefer the Thunderbolt 305. I do like the Pride 300s. I've owned a bunch of them. Uh, you guys have probably seen them pop up on the channel from time to time. I like them a lot. Really nice amps. They're low drive. We're going to put about a watt to two watts into it, uh, dead key, and we're going to swing about nine watts average and about 35 or so PEP. So we will uh, see how it responds and get on with the video here, get this done so I can get back to work outside on my antenna. I got a buddy of mine up here helping me, and he's up there working by himself right now. So uh, PEP. Uh, I've already got it pre-tuned. We're looking at the bottom scale, 1,000 watt slug. Audio, check, one, two, three. Audio, check, one, two, three. Audio, check, one, two, three. Audio, one, two, one, two, one, two. Audio, 800 watts, PEP. Pretty normal for one of these. I thought the tube might have been a little soft on it because out on my other bench, it showed like 700 watts PEP. I brought it in here, brushed the tune up on it a little bit, and it jumped up to uh, 800 watts PEP. When you tune these, if you guys ever run across one of these, you're not experienced with them, barely turn these knobs. They are extremely sensitive. I mean, turning these things just a fraction will be the difference between 700 watts and 800 watts or 600 watts and 750 watts. You just barely, barely apply pressure to these knobs when you're tuning this amp. Tune it for maximum output. Modulate it, audio, put a tone into it, whatever you have to do tune it for maximum output okay back to our uh, watt meter reading we're going to go back to average power here still looking at the bottom scale we can put a little carrier in it there we go audio about 280 audio radio audio audio there you guys go about 275 280 that's generally the ballpark that these things do somewhere between 250 to 300 average with the uh, factory tube in them. So I'd say it's in good, healthy shape. I'm gonna turn it down into the low position here and check it on PEP, see how much difference it makes. Remember it did high, uh, on high it did 800 watts. Let's see what it does on low. Audio, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three, audio, one, two, three, audio. 300 watts, PEP. Meter on the front works. Audio, it looks like it's reading average power probably. Audio, let's see what it reads average on our bird here. How close that thing is. Hello, How about 80 watts on the bird, so. Hello, audio, maybe 90. So I would definitely say that they've got the meter uh, calibrated for average power on the front. But that's it, guys. Really nice. Pride DX300. I hope he likes it, but for some reason, he doesn't take it. He sees it and doesn't want it. Uh, it will be up for sale. I'd rather not ship it. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure the guy's going to take it because um, 
it's priced, you know, within reason, and it's a really nice one. So uh, it's really nice on the outside. It looks even better on the inside. Super, super clean Pride DX300. All right, everybody, have a good day. We're going to get back outside here and uh, get back to work. Rooster in Tennessee, questions, comments, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Catch you guys out there. See you, bye.